Cork City Council's library service has a network of 10 libraries spread throughout the city. These community libraries provide a welcoming environment for cultural expression and social inclusion through the provision of free clubs and events. Music in particular has become a staple in Holly Hill Library. With the support of Music Generation Cork City, Creative Tradition, Musical Neighbourhoods, UCC and the HSE, the library hosts a variety of music clubs, music programmes and regular music events. We don't seem the same I know some things have changed But I am also seen with different eyes There's all the different clubs here There's the ukulele, the guitar club where they learn songs and join in together There's a songwriting club here And a gramophone circle that did Someone would come in and play songs that they are like themselves And an audience would come in and relate to whatever they hear and then there's a singer's club, a singer's circle that meets once a month. So basically you turn up if you want to sing, fine. It's a totally off the cuff, no pressure. And if you just want to listen in, that's fine too. involved with a lot of groups when I was working here but I told Elizabeth that after I retired I would stay involved with the book club and the singing circle and I wanted to start a, a fellow of the ukulele groups as well. The club I really like most is singing circle. We have 20 to 23, 24 people every month. It's a great Northside tradition of sing song. A classic example of the way libraries should be run in the community. It's open. But the library itself is a fantastic facility, bright, open and airy, welcoming and as I say, the people of the parish and the community use it. It's the local library for the Holly Hill, Knocknahini area, Grandabraher, Churchfield, Sundays Well, Clahean and the North Western environs of, environs of Cork City. And it's divided up into a couple of different sections. The first section we're in here at the moment is the children's section. Got a really good uh, light coming in as well uh, so it's divided up into different sections at the moment there are some central aisles with uh, children fiction books uh, reading schemes for children who would be of a younger age who are just starting reading we've got a s selection of books here that are dyslexic friendly which means basically that the books the font is a little bit bigger and the pages themselves are in a different color they're yellow, so it might make it easier for people to actually read the print. We also have a selection of life skills books here as well, which may be useful for children. It focuses on specific areas, like for example, issues relating to bereavement feelings uh, and manners. We have a selection here. This is a recent introduction. It's the toy library section. In the last couple of months, we have been fortunate enough to have games and jigsaws have become available to borrow and this particular area it's quite a big area it's known as the Lightwell Gallery I know for example that this can be used for exhibits at different times of the year in October of last year we had the Texaco Children's Art Exhibition which proved to be very popular because uh, it demonstrated a whole range of work 12 to 15 different pieces of work up and that was up for a month so that proved to be very popular but it can also be used it's a space that's used for other events as well mm -hmm. not only is the library here obviously focused on books and, and borrowing books it's also a space that is used quite a lot by the community the growing imaginations initiative was an initiative that was developed in 2012 piloted with the cope organization so its aim was to encourage individuals with intellectual disabilities to access these types of books basically they're books in in a in a red bag tactile in nature people who use them are able to interpret the stories and the concepts within the stories themselves for example in any given bag there could be a series of objects so it's proved a very popular initiative here <laughs> My name is Sam.
Sandra. Um, I'm uh, with Cox Sports Partnership and we're doing a um, walking program, Holly Hill walking today. So we're just going for a nice stroll and we're trying to get as many people involved as we can. It was a good turnout, especially from Cope. There's been a good turnout and the locals as well. So it'll build up every week. So it's always a good turnout. We always have a lovely time. Well, I'm a, a physiotherapist working in primary care and uh, I'm involved in a project with Elizabeth and the library. I'm delighted that you invited me to come today. I'm thrilled that I arrived at the library on time to go for the community walk because I think it's a great initiative and I'm actually excited to get my steps in. really been a big part of our life like since we picked up the ukulele it's yeah you know, something to look forward to every week you know and the amount of friends that you make is is unbelievable you know and like during the pandemic we never let it go we kept doing it zoom every tuesday morning thanks to michael over there he got it all organized you know it was a solo thing then on tuesday morning because of the zoom you know we all just took turns singing songs and having the crack it wouldn't be the best year in life this, this year we're old and uh, the fact we are kept in touch and we have a fantastic WhatsApp. I mean, without that we'd be lost, you know? And during the pandemic, I think I got most, any of us that were, had any little thing on their mind to get us through it, you know? And I think that uh, because of it, I never thought I'd see the day. I'm not saying I can play it, but I, <laughs> I'm attempting to play it. But I never thought I'd do anything like that. And it all just came out of something so simple. Just a few people getting together and enjoying themselves. And we really do. And it's, it's, it's well worth it. I'd recommend it to anyone. It is extraordinary. Uh, there's every kind of activity and service and crack and education and training and camaraderie COVID, it was a nightmare for people, I think, because, you know, it was just gone from our lives. If anybody wants to do anything, they can kind of propose it and probably something will happen. And the building itself is a very significant building in Ireland. It's one of the new architecturally uh, significant buildings, partner to the one, to the, the one in UCC. The Glocksman, well done. This is like a partner to that one. It's just nice, new, functional, attractive building. Do you know what? No, it's like, it's more the camaraderie. It's like even like, um, Jorino had a fall last week because she can't do anything because she hurt her hand. But it's the chat, it's the chat. Yeah. It's good for your, like, your mental health even just to get out and, yeah. and it's like, you forget everything that's like on your mind and you come up here and you, have a laugh and a joke and I think that's as, as important. Sometimes there's more laughing and joking than knitting like but we won't talk about that. Yeah. Maureen in the Irish group in Holly Hill and we are here every Wednesday at two o'clock. We do Irish songs, Irish poetry, Irish history, anything in belonging to Irish culture. I guess um, Tommy Dig the other views. Uh, ta Cahurgan and Shaw enough. Ta mid egg uh, egg over er or on a tall uh, fall of a green. It's Michelle Denise been on Schlea for a sport of green. Erin Dear Dean and Shaw. Ig dinna virakt an gwelga lart le keil. Mid egg lar as berla agus as gwelga. Mar sin an kultur. Bu mid salt moras. Gur mil magad. Enough. It seems you made a model or an inch. I stand. Rest assured, you're mine. 